Welcome back to Studio 10. Well, we have a special production and a special guest to introduce you to this morning. Grant Wilson is singing the title role in the Mobile Opera's performance of Verter. He is an international opera star and an Alabama native. Also joining him is Scott Wright, the general director from the Mobile Opera. Gentlemen, thank you so much both for being here. Our Thanks pleasure. for having us. First, I have to apologize for a lack of opera knowledge when I pronounced it Werther, like Werther's original, which is not correct. It's Verter. Tell us about this production, fellas. Well, Werther is uh, an opera that is not done as often as some of the uh, more popular operas like La Boheme or Madame Butterfly, but the music is magnificent. It is a Massenet score, a French setting of the Goethe novel, The Sorrows of the Young Werther. Mm -hmm. It's a psychological drama, and um, the uh, progresses, we are allowed to hear the characters' uh, thoughts about what they want to do, not so much the actions, but their, their own inner thoughts. The music is gorgeous, like movie music. And Scott, he mentioned that this is not one of the most commonly performed operas, so why did you choose to bring this one to the Mobile stage? I've been asking every general director of Mobile Opera for 20 years, probably, to put this on, uh, program this, and uh, when I got to be general director, then I finally had somebody who would listen to me. So that's, <laughs> that's why it, it, it's actually making a resurgence. There's mm -hmm. a big uh, interest in Verter. Uh, the Metropolitan Opera recently staged it, and I think we're on the leading edge. You're going to see a lot more of it. Well, and speaking of the leading edge, you are the leading performer in this, and we want to talk a little bit about your background because you are from right here in Alabama, but you are an international opera star. Tell us a little bit about your career. Grew up in Bessemer, Alabama. I've sung on four continents for about 40 years, but I wow. tell you, more than anything I ever did, I'm proudest of being an Alabaman. And to come home and sing is just such a thrill for me, and I have a special place in my heart for the Mobile Opera and for this city because when I was struggling and trying to get this career started up in New York, Benton Hess, who was then the artistic director of the Mobile Opera, heard me and brought me here. And in 1982, I made a debut here, and that launched my career. And I would not have had the life that I had if it hadn't been for that help. And I uh, have always had a special sense of gratitude to Mobile for that. And it gives me great pleasure to come back home and see this thriving, vital arts district Mm -hmm. Mobile, which I'm so proud of that. I think that's fantastic. And in terms of this performance specifically, a lot of people without a vocal background don't realize that some pieces are far more challenging than others. You said this is a very challenging piece for yourself. You're a tenor. Yeah. Yes, it's a, it's, it's a real tour de force for the tenor. Uh, very long song. You're mm -hmm. out there pretty much the entire night and uh, very demanding music and it requires a great deal of concentration and um, one, one of the big roles for a tenor. Well, this sounds fantastic. Uh, Scott, why don't you tell the folks when it is, where it is, and how they can get tickets. You can get tickets by calling 251-432-6772. The Mobile Opera, look us up on our website, mobileopera.org. They're $60, $30, and $10 for students. So we would love to have people see this beautiful show. Come on out this weekend, Friday and Sunday. You do not want to miss your chance to see Alabama's own international opera star taking the stage. Thank you so much, gentlemen. Such a pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to Thank meet you, you as well, Scott. Good seeing you. All right, coming up on Studio 10.